All right, it's finally gonna happen. I am going to show you how I have added memory to my streamer.bot AI. So I'm Jason with House of Jacobs, and today we're going to show you how I have incorporated memory into my AI bot. I know, I know, I know. I've been saying I'm gonna do this a long time. The code has been out there and it's been on the GitHub at the same exact spot as where you pick up the codes to do it to import into streamer.bot to install the chat GPT AI. But I have never done an official video and several people have requested it over and over and over again. So here it is. I'm finally taking the time literally during the middle of the day not my normal, not my normal time to do this, but I worked at 2 a.m. and I got off way early uh, for me. So I'm filming this in the middle of the day to get this out here to you guys so I can show you how I've added memory to my bot. I've done it. Mine's been working for a long time. We'll say something like five months. Again, sorry it's taken so long, but uh, no big deal. We're gonna go over that right now. So we have to go with a few assumptions. Number one, you have streamer.bot installed and ready to go, hooked up to your Twitch accounts or YouTube accounts, whichever you prefer. Number two, you have done the chat GPT installation and import like you're supposed to have done with the previous video. And you're only here to learn how to add memory. And number three, you have also set up your AI API keys with chat GPT and finished setting up your chat GPT bot. So all of your commands are set, it should be working, and you should have all of your stuff done before doing this. Because if you don't, you're gonna have issues and there's gonna be a thousand comments saying, how do I do this? Literally go watch my other video right there. I'm gonna put a little tag right there. And I'm also gonna post it down below of where to go and check out that other video that shows you how to set up all of this. I'm only taking this long to tell you this because I guarantee there will be a comment that says, hey, Jason, how do you do this? And I will just point to another video and say, go there, which but that's fine because then I get more views. All right, so I am using a test bot. And as you can see, I have made this very big for you guys to see here. So let me pull this bad boy up get it set up behind me, and then I will shrink down to the side and show you how to do this. All right, there I shrinked. All right, so as you can see, this is my test bot. It said it when I came up, and I'm trying to click on, I'm trying to click on the wrong screen. All right, so here I have already imported the chat GPT function. I have already set mine up. It is working, ready to go, and I've already set up my commands, and I've already hooked it to my Twitch accounts. You're gonna to wanna to be under actions and the sub actions is what you want because we're gonna go into this execute code. We're going to change all of this code. Delete it, make it go away. You don't need it anymore, okay? And then we're gonna to go to GitHub where I post all my fancy stuff. Uh, let's see, it's under GitHub. So, uh, You'll come in to, you'll use this uh, fancy little uh, link at the top. I'll put it below and it will just say memory coding. This is where you're going to go. All right. Um, you're going to copy the raw file that will copy all of this code. Okay. All of it. That is 219 lines. So it should be 219 lines when you paste it in to here. Okay. Control V, paste it in, 219 lines. Go ahead and compile it to make sure it works. It does. Then we're going to save. All right. Then you hit OK. Don't forget to save. Please don't forget to save. I'll say it again. Don't forget to save. All right. So now I'm going to pull up the actual uh, chat for Twitch and you will see that it's working. Now, this will work if you're offline. It's OK. It's OK. You're offline. OK. And again, my fat head is in the way. So um, how about this? I'm going to go away. I'm going to go away now. And then you'll see. Boop. See, I'm gone, but I'm still here. All right. So let's first make sure that the house bot is still working. My command is at the house bot because that's what my bot is called. Again, follow the other video. You can name your bot whatever you want. Okay. I'm going to ask him, how are you today, sir? 
Okay, and we're just gonna get back. He has no data, which means he's broken. A few moments later. All right, so like I said, make sure you do all of the other steps, including adding this in. That's in the last video. I didn't do it, so my hot spot was broken. As you saw, it said I have no data because we added extra text in in this, okay? So not a big deal. The only way you're gonna do this is if you add this set argument in. And then I'll show you that the house bot now works and has memory again. All right, so at the house bot, hello, how are you? Bam, hello house Jacobs, I'm doing great, thank you. How about you, what have you been up to today? All right, so we're going to tell him a couple things about me. Okay. My favorite food is pizza. And my favorite color is blue. Nice choices. Pizza is such a versatile food. All right, now, in the past, in the past, he's not been able to remember anything. You could ask him something right away. So let's see if he remembers what my favorite food is. At the house spot. What my favorite food. Boom, your favorite food is pizza. Do you have a favorite topping or style pizza? Ooh, let's answer him and see if he can remember that. Hawaiian style is my favorite. Don't hate. It's my favorite. Hawaiian pizza is a great choice. The combination of sweet pineapple and savory ham is... All right, so we've got a couple in, right? So now let's see if he can remember what my favorite color is. Boom! Your favorite color is blue! Want to know how it works? All right, we're going to check it out. Inside of this uh, code, it creates what is called a conversation history. Right here. So everything that the, that the house bot says comes up Everything the housebot says, and now all the talks come up here. Tells you uh, who said it, what the role of the user is, content, house Jacob said hello, role assistant. And the assistant is the housebot. Hello, house Jacob. So it remembers what it said, it remembers what you said, it remembers what each of your people says, and it comes back and queries this. And this is inside of your streamer bot um, file. It'll show up right here. Right here, okay? If you want to make him stop remembering things, delete that file, and his memory magically goes away. Now, he just answered what my favorite color was. I'm not sure. As I forgot, he forgot. So with that being said, he will now remember things. So how do you make adjustments to how much memory this has? So you're gonna go back into the house bot here. We're going to go into um, custom GPT. And this has all of your arguments and stuff. And I'm going to try and make it very simple because I know not a lot of people read code. I'm okay at reading code. Um, I, will, I will let you know that I've done, like I'm better at reading it than I am writing it, which is why this took so long, okay? So we've given it max tokens of 4,096 in this case, and that's the tokens it uses to uh, query chat GPT with. That will allow it to take all of that conversation and paste it into chat GPT so it has a background. So this needs to be kind of big. If you want this to be bigger, 
that's fine, but the more information you put into ChatGPT, the more the the more inform the more money that comes out of the API key. So you're gonna have to go see what the actual pricing is for input and output. It's still not a lot. I have not passed the five dollar mark still to this day. Okay, this is uh, the output limits. We only want a hundred. We're gonna leave that under your max tokens. You're going to come down here. Make sure that that hundred is right there. Don't mess with these. OK, don't mess with these ones. So this one is the most important one. This is the one that allows you to take a crap ton of stuff and put it into chat GPT. So it will take the last four thousand ninety six tokens worth of information. And just to figure out what that is, we can go to chat GPT real quick and pull that up. How many tokens is a standard paragraph? Okay. Number of tokens, standard paragraph varies depending on the length. Short paragraph, two to three seven sentences, 50 to 70 tokens. Medium paragraph, 80 to 20 tokens. Long paragraph, 150 tokens. It's with seven plus sentences. So as you can see, this giving it 4096 tokens is a lot and that can really start running things up when we get into the pricing of it but you can limit that by saying something along the lines of uh 1000 tokens and then you save that and now it will only use a thousand tokens personally again it's not a huge price check the pricing to see just to make sure on what it is it's in that api section where you set up all your stuff before all right so that is basically it we've set up the uh chat gpt with a memory function it will interact with everybody just like everything else uh with all if you want to know how to add the actual commands and all the ai randomness and everything else again previous video linked below but if all you're looking to do is add memory this is how you do that and then once that memory is added you control if your bot actually remembers anything by deleting the conversation history and how much it can remember when it goes into chat gpt and it queries out however many tokens it is remember seven sentences is 150 tokens and we were giving it 4096 to start which is a lot you're talking like I don't know, maybe a hundred sentences or something, something ridiculous like that. So uh, yeah, that's a, that's about it. So we're going to get out of here. Thank you guys very much. Don't forget to like, follow, um, and do all the fancy stuff that you have to do to help us out because all this helps, dude. Comments, everything. And if this has helped you out, please leave a comment saying how great it was or I don't know, ask me, ask me again why it says I have no data because I get that all the time. And you literally saw even I get it every once in a while. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next time on The House of Jacobs.